Julie here, and today I wanted to show you how to do a really, really easy dessert for any party. You can decorate it any way. Today I thought it would be for kind of a tropical party, or you know that like hipster palm leaf wallpaper? That's what I was going for. So let's just jump into it. It looks really cool. First thing you want to do is melt your white chocolate, and this can be done really simply in the microwave at 30 second intervals. Then I want to secure my double stuffed Oreos onto cake pop sticks. So you're going to want to dunk each stick into a little bit of white chocolate and then gently guide it into your Oreo. This is going to ensure that our Oreos don't fall off the sticks when we go to dunk the whole thing. Place your Oreos onto a sheet of parchment paper. It can be on a baking sheet or on a plate. It doesn't matter. These just got to go into the fridge or freezer to set up completely. Once your Oreos are set, give your white chocolate another zap in the microwave. You want to make sure it's nice and warm. And now, this is where we're going to dunk them. And I don't actually want to dip them in and pull them out and have them be covered because if we melt that original kind of cork of white chocolate, the entire cookie is going to fall off. So the technique I like to use is to take a large tablespoon and I pour some white chocolate over top. Then I take the stick and I bang it against the bowl to try and get the chocolate smooth. Then give it a flip and repeat the process, banging off any excess chocolate. Now, one little tip while you're doing this is try to work quickly because if that white icing of the Oreo gets too warm, it will melt itself. So you want to kind of do this quickly and get it back on the cool baking sheet as soon as possible. Repeat that with all your Oreos and then get that back in the fridge or freezer for another 10 minutes or so. And now it is time to paint. It is time for you to be your own Bob Ross. I'm gonna show you how I did this design, but have this be inspiration for any party you can imagine. You can do whatever colors you like. You go for it. All right, so I have two different colors of gel food coloring here. I have a darker green and a lighter green. Now I'm going to open these up and dip my paintbrush in. I've also got a little bit of water here and I'm going to dilute the color onto a nice plate here. Then I'm going to start painting on palm leaves and this is where it just takes a lot of practice. So to get the right color, I like incorporating a little bit of water and I get that nice light green and I like to just trace out the leaf and kind of get an idea of it and then you can fill it in. You can add some darker color to it if you want to give it more dimension. And you can put in all sorts of different palm leaves. If you want one that looks a little more spiky, if you want one that looks like a little more big and luscious. Now one thing to note, as you're painting this on, these are water-based gel food colors. So if you incorporate too much water, you'll notice that the water starts to pull together and won't actually leave color on the Oreo. So it really just takes practice to figure out how much food coloring you will need on your brush and how much water to get the right color. If you did want a paint that was a little more pigmented and didn't pull away like this, you could always use candy food coloring or chocolate food coloring. That would work differently. But what I like about using the water base is that it does actually look like watercolors. So you'll notice I'm using lots of different techniques and lots of different brushes. The finer brushes are good for really fine leaves. I like adding dimension. But each Oreo is up to you. It is your creative opportunity to paint whatever you like. Some of them are going to work. Some of them are going to look terrible. It should just be a fun time. And during this process, I really do like to wear an apron so you don't have splishy splashies all over your nice shirt. So these Oreos now have just got to dry for a couple hours and then they are ready to bring to your party. Well, you guys, I hope this was fun inspiration for you for your next party. Be creative, find something cool to draw or paint onto your Oreo Pops. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.